you're on for April 8th, you're going to be on the Shakur card? Yeah. Yeah. That's dope, bro. Do you have a do you have an opponent yet? Yeah, we got Roy Barnzer. He's 9 and 3. Toledo, Ohio. What's his name? Roy Barringer. Barringer, mm-hmm. something like that. I'm going to have to look him up. Do you do you know anything about the opponent? Any idea what kind of fight you're you're expecting? I mean, I feel like uh he's right there for everything. Uh he's like a, a pressure fighter. I seen one fight he was on, on the inside pressing the guy. I look at multiple fights, I don't just look at one fight. So I mean he seems like he's gonna try to press me on the inside. So, you know, me and my coach are, uh me and my coach are talking about just boxing him on the outside for a little bit, you know, breaking him down, touching the body a little bit, and then, you know, after round four start, you know, walking to him. I was just looking him up just now, just for some context. His last fight, he actually beat a decent guy named Michael Moore, who was on the yeah. last season of the Contender. So that's, I, I mean, that's a decent win. What if you had to map out kind of, you know, your your ideal twenty twenty three for you and, and your career and the kind of fights you want right now? Like, what what would that look like? I'm trying to get some top fifteen fights this year, getting the rankings, and uh, definitely uh, shoot for a title shot next year. That, I mean, to be honest with you, bro, the, the fight that I would love to see in the next, I don't know, year or two, like, I think the fight is you and Xander. I think that's a, such a good matchup, and both of you guys are so talented. I think that'd be a great fight. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, that would, that would, that'd be a good fight, you know, for the people, for sure, for sure. That'd definitely be a good fight. Any, any, any thoughts on, uh, on Shakur and, and his matchup? You know, I know the, the guy he fought just beat uh, Nakatani, who, had a fucking crazy fight with Tiafimo Lopez. So that's a, a very high level win. Any thoughts on Shakur's fight? Uh I mean, I feel like Shakur's is gonna box the guy. Uh, you know, too smart, you know, too too technical, knows the distance as well. So I got Shakur boxing the guy. Boxing the guy easy. And and Nagatani is who who is Nagatani? Is that the that's the the uh the tall guy, right? That's the tall guy. This guy just knocked him out. The tall dark skinned guy. No, the, the tall, co- now the tall Japanese so, guy. The tall Japanese guy that was uh, Tiafimo. Mm, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, now nah, that's a that's a pretty decent win. I didn't I couldn't really see any good highlights of the guy. From the highlights I seen, he was he looked really slow, but I'm not gonna doubt the guy. Nakatani's a, a good a good fighter and he definitely uh he's definitely hard to stop. So I'm not gonna look past the guy, but I just think Sakura's skill set and his range generalship, his distance, is you know, his overall boxing ability is just better than a guy. So I got Shakur by, you know, 12 round, you know, unanimous decision. I feel like Shakur's skills right now, just on a pure skill level, like I feel like he's one of the 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 best overall, like well rounded boxers in the game right now. Yeah. What what kind of because he's in an interesting spot too where he's in that I think he's had 19, 20 fights and you know now he's moving up in weight. What are some of the fights you'd like to see Shakur in moving forward? I mean Shakur. I mean of course I like to see Shakur. Uh, I love to see Shakur and Tank. That's the fight I would like to see. Uh, Shakur and Tank. I mean obviously I like to see Shakur and Loma. Uh, any of those guys at thirty five for sure. 